Hello all, welcome to part 50 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate what happens when we provide parallel is equal to none in TestNG XML files and how does this affect TestNG parallel execution. So let's get started. What will happen when you provide parallel is equal to none in the TestNG XML files? I am going to practically show you guys and explain. So parallel is equal to none. By specifying the parallel is equal to none in TestNG XML file, how does in it impact this test engine parallel execution is something it this particular thing may be asked as part of the interview question guys okay so a lot of people know that parallel is equal to test will be there parallel is equal to classes will be there parallel is equal to methods will be there but a lot of people doesn't know that parallel is equal to none also exists okay we can provide a value known as none for a parallel attribute in test engine xml file but what happens when you provide that none to the parallel attribute in test engine xml file okay you can provide this at the suit level okay and just Go to these guys, okay, remove all this stuff, uh, uh, previous stuff, and uh, uh, there are some two tests and all the stuff. Here I'll say parallel. I'll provide it a suit level, parallel is equal to none. And here I'll give some thread count, okay? Thread count is equal to some two or something I'll mention. Though I'm mentioning the thread count, but here parallel execution is disabled because you mentioned none. None means parallel execution is disabled. If you specify none here, that means parallel execution is disabled. That means all this particular test classes and the methods in these classes will be executed in a sequential order. Okay, first register classes, register class and its related test methods according to the priority will be executed in sequential order one by one. Then login class related test methods will be executed one by one according to the given priority in that particular class for those test methods. Then the test two will start. Okay, test two will start where search related search class related test methods will be executed in a priority order as mentioned inside the search class for those test methods and then followed by the search to class test methods according to their priority. So everything will happen in a sequential order. Providing parallel is equal to none is nothing but sequential execution. We are disabling the parallel execution at the suit level. Run this guys. All the tests will be executed only at the single thread. Even thread is equal to two will not be valid because parallel execution disabled means only one thread exists and on that single thread, all these test methods will be executed one after the another in a sequential order. We'll see that now. First register related test will run, then login related test. You see on the single thread known as one, first register, then login, then search, and then search two. Okay, test one and test two, okay? So this is what happens, guys, when you mention parallel is equal to none. Even though thread count is two, it doesn't consider this thread count is equal to two because parallel is disabled here by specifying none as a value to the parallel attribute at the suit level in the test engine XML file. So hope guys you understood what will happen when you specify parallel is equal to none in test engine XML files and how it affects or disables the parallel execution in test engine. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test engine topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.